What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolf Cryer here, and welcome to ARPG Update, where we talk about what's going on in the world of action role-playing games. And today's video is going to focus entirely on Wilson Lords of Mayhem. Because the folks over at Wilson Studios have just announced the final release date for Wilson Lords of Mayhem, the final version of the game, and that is going to be February 13th, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is being pushed back another two weeks in a game that has seen several, several delays over the last few years. For those of you who don't know what Wilson Lords of Mayhem is, its initial Kickstarter campaign back in May of 2015 showed the game off as Umbra. That was the title of the game. This was an action role-playing game with a ton of grand ideas and goals and quickly surpassed its goal on Kickstarter and went into early development. Over the last few years, like I said, this game has gone through many iterations. Several things have changed. Initially, there was player housing in the game. There was character customization, which is coming back, ladies and gentlemen. But it is a watered-down version compared to what was in that initial release. But it's still good to see this return because this is not something you get to see in many action role-playing games. And I'm looking forward to the ability to customize my character here and there. So definitely can't wait to check out that feature. Now, as I've said, this release is being pushed back to February 13th. And this, according to the CEO of Wilson Studios, was necessary to make sure that the game had enough polish and was really ready to go at launch. This is something that they need to perfect, in my opinion, with all of the delays surrounding this game, although I do give it a little bit more space when it comes to the delays that came about during the game's development, simply because the amount of people working on this game. If you look at a game such as Diablo 4, it will be in development for at least another couple of years, and it has a massive massive amount of people working on it and it has the full power of blizzard behind it this however was started by five people for the most part and has grown to about 40 people working on the game i think they've put in a ton of work on the game and it shows off beautifully in terms of the graphics i mean this game of all of the upcoming arpgs out there the ones that are about to come out or have just recently released i'd have to say that the graphics the beautiful environments the character models and everything within this game the skills all of that it's beautiful to behold the gameplay is pretty decent as well, and I really enjoyed the storyline, albeit the voice acting was a little bit bland, but I think that the storyline overall was good enough to carry this game, especially since it has a very fluid gameplay with beautiful graphics. So hopefully that is something that continues, and hopefully it's something that they've managed to expand upon in this final version of the game. I did have the opportunity to play Chapter 1 when it was released last year, and I thought it was an amazing first act of a game. It had some very cool boss fight mechanics. I really enjoyed the boss fights in Act 1, and can't wait to see what they do in the next two acts. This game will be releasing two more acts with the full version, so three acts total. It'll be pretty much tripling all of the content for the most part, armors, weapons, skills, environments, the, all three acts. And it's also going to introduce that apocalyptic form, which is something that was touted in the development phase of Wilson Lords of Mayhem. This is a ultimate ability, if you will, where you transform your character into this massively powered being and are able to wipe out everything on the screen. Can't wait to see how that's implemented. Can't wait to see exactly what that entails because that is something that the game has been focused on and has been pushing as one of their biggest innovations. So that is something that I am looking forward to this game as well. Like I said, a ton of new content coming and the final full release version of this game coming February 13th. You can be sure that there will be videos on YouTube regarding Wilson Lords of Mayhem. I will also be streaming during the opening week for sure with this game's new content. And I can't wait to jump into that. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of streamers doing that. And I, I can't wait 
for Wilson Lords of Mayhem. Now, one caveat here is the fact that the game's price tag is going to be increasing to about 45 US dollars. And that is something that has actually been planned from the get-go for the most part, where supporters early on got the game for much cheaper, especially those who participated in the Kickstarter program and the alpha and beta versions of the game. I already bought mine for about $15. That was way back then, probably about two, two and a half years ago I bought this game. So the price tag is a little bit steep, but I think that the game's content is going to have to prove its worth when it comes to that. You guys know how I feel about games with big price tags and no content. So I will definitely be letting you know what I feel about this game as far as that price tag goes. I do think that there are going to be cosmetics that are purchasable within this game because this is a game that they plan on focusing on and adding new content in the future for free as far as i'm aware that could be something that changes overall maybe they'll add an expansion but i think most of the content that's going to be coming to wilson lords of mayhem will be added for free and i can't wait to see what they've got in store for this game not only with the full final release version of this game but in the future as well. This is a game that I want to see succeed. And it's not because I want something to take down Path of Exile or take down Diablo, because I love both of those franchises as well. It's my favorite genre, and I want games to succeed to be able to build up that competition and be able to overall help the whole genre. So I want Wilson Lords of Mayhem to succeed, but we're going to have to wait and see if it's worth that $45 price tag. I will definitely be letting you know. Like I said, there's going to be content coming for Wilson Lords of Mayhem on this channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I always greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know down in that comment section down below if you are excited about the upcoming release of Wilson Lords of Mayhem, or do you think it's too little too late, or do you think it's just right and hopefully they have the perfect amount of polish when it comes to releasing the final version of this game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you all, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.